Hello everyone! Welcome again to my YouTube channel! Nandito na naman ako! Another day, another interesting day na ibibigay ko sa inyo. So, we'll talk about older babies ngayon, okay? Iyon ang pag-uusapan natin dahil um, somebody messaged me uh, privately inquiring about ano da yung uh, roadmap or plan na pwedeng gagawin ng isang nanay na may plano going back to work. So, um, I've mentioned few of the ideas na sinishare ko sa inyo uh, when it comes to going back to work dahil alam ko sa, sa hirap ng buhay ngayon, ang mga nanay talaga, uh, kahit even though you want to stay home to be with your kid, kailangan nyo pa rin magtrabaho because, again, kailangan mo magtrabaho kumita para may pakain sa mga anak. So, um, tinatanong ng nanay na ito kung ano, ano bang best strategy na uumpisahan na turuan si baby na mag off slowly doon sa breastfeeding na pupunta doon sa bottle feeding. So, I have few, some, some videos on this but I'm gonna uh, give you another additional ideas today para talaga ma, ma, medyo easier yung transition na gagawin ninyo lalo na if you're going back to work. So, ito ang pinaka there's bad news and the good news. The good news is, ito muna, you're gonna have, you're gonna be back on your own normal life when you go back to work, okay? Uh, I know some of you siguro naka 6 months na kayo o kaya naka 8, man, eight months na kayo. I don't know kung how long allowed kayo sa trabaho niyo if you want to go back 6 months after. So, but um, you need to be prepared bago ka pumasok sa going back to work. So, Let's say older na yung baby nyo. Baby nyo is 8 months old or 6 months old na. Talagang uh, uh, na-train you na on how to eat the solid food. Ngayon, ang payo ko sa inyo, if you really have plan of going back to work full time, meaning you're gonna be working 6 to 8 hours a day, depende kung anong klase ng trabaho nyo, you have to do preparation full time supply ng milk nyo doon sa freezer nyo. Mm -hmm. I know it's gonna be hard if, if you're one of those moms na ayaw mong mag-formula, ayaw mong i-mix si baby, dahil marami ka namang supply, bakit hindi ka mag-pump mag ng mag-pump and you stash it. So, ito yung plano na gagawin nyo when it comes to uh, preparing for that uh, time na babalik kayo sa trabaho. Kung ikaw exclusive breastfeeder ngayon, at a month from now, babalik ka na sa work. At wala kang planong i-formula si baby. You need to work double time a month before you go back to work para makapag-stash ka ng milk before you go back to work. Now, ang problema, when you're stashing your milk, do you have enough room para doon sa pinistash mong milk? Do you have backup plan in caso mawala ng ilaw, magka-brown out ng isang araw, uh, may reserve ka bang cooler na, na doon mo ilalagay yung mga milk mo in kaso walang, walang, um, wala tayong power. Uh, do you, uh, kung may cooler ka, it's good uh, as your backup plan. Um, pwede kang, kasi pag may cooler ka, pwede kang bumili ng mga block and blocking ice block eh, na pwede mong i-store mo na yung milk mo habang wala pang ilaw. Uh, then you can pile up um, ice, block of ice in the cooler. Itong um, payo ko sa inyo, okay? Tips ko sa inyo. Saka sakaling mawala ng ilaw at nasa cooler yung, gata, yung gatas nyo, na nilagyan yun ng block, block na ice. Cover it with towel sa pinaka-ababaw ng, ng ice. Uh, sometimes, ang ginagawa yung iba, lalagyan ng kung ano-ano mga darak ng mais o, or palay. Huwag kasi nga, milk mo yun, baka makontaminate. It's better put a clean, thick towel on top of the ice para ma-preserve talaga yung coldness ng milk ninyo doon sa cooler in caso may my brand out. So again, going back to the story. Kung plano mo na mag-work 6 to 8 hours a day at yung the caregiver mo lang or nanay mo ang mag-alaga ng anak mo, you need to work hard for your milk, okay? Kasi ganito mangyayari. 
during the first two weeks na wala ka sa bahay, itong bata na to, iyak ng iyak. Mm -hmm. Expected na yan, iyak ito ng iyak. Kasi hinahanap yung amoy mo eh, hinahanap yung presence mo eh. Hinahanap yung soothing, calming presence mo eh. Ngayon, pag wala ka, ang pambato nung caregiver mo is to give your breast milk. Okay? You can, you can never... Um, Overfeed the baby with the breast milk, okay? Kasi breast milk is so easy to digest. So don't be worried na napadami yung uh, napakain ng, ng breast milk yung anak mo habang iyak na iyak. Kung yun lang talaga ang paraan na mag-soothe mag si baby na hindi na iiyak pag, 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 pag bibigyan ng bote with your breast milk. Pero pag nag-formula feed ka at uh, feed ng feed yung caregiver mo, ma-overfeed talaga si baby dahil ang formula, again, Matagal matunaw sa tiyan, kaya minsan pag nag-overfeed si baby ng formula, suka ng suka, spit out ng spit out. Because again, puno pa rin yung tiyan, buhos pa rin ng buhos ng, ng bote sa bunganga. So kaya minsan ang iba natatakot nag spit up yung baby na sobrahan sa formula feeding. So yun ang differences kung hindi ka nagpo-formula feeding, you going back to work or you stick with your breast milk. Now, Kalimitan sa mga nagiging pasyente ko na when they gave, went back to work, unti-unti din nag-decrease yung milk supply nila. For the first month, normally, doon sa milk supply ninyo, nag adjust kayo both eh. Your kid is adjusting and you're also adjusting. So, kung feel mo na during the first two weeks, medyo bumababa yung pumping uh, amount na nakukuha mo, continue doing it. Ano yun eh, uh, effect yun ng, ng trabaho mo, pagod ka, malaya ka sa anak mo, wala ka maraming milk, milk ejection reflex kasi hindi mo naamoy yung anak mo everyday. Yung amoy ng anak mo, yung iyak ng anak mo, yung kahit boses lang ng anak mo, nakaka-trigger ng letdown yun. Nakakadami ng gatas pag nagpapump. Ngayon, pag nagpapump ka sa opisina nang naranig mo yung mga mga boses lang ng mga kasamahan mo o kaya nag-iisa ka lang, wala kang triggering uh, effect doon sa letdown mo. If I were you, pag nasa office ka na nagpapump ka, listen to a good music. Kasi pag nakaka-relax yung brain mo and you're listening to a good music while you're pumping at work, dumadami yung gatas mo kasi you need to trigger that letdown. Because again, hindi ba minimension could be for sa mga videos ko? When we're pumping or breastfeeding, normally we get at least 4 to 17 times let down. Ngayon, pag pagod ka, wala ka sa mood, you're feeling stressed, malayo ka sa anak mo, namimiss mo yung anak mo, masakit ang ulo mo, konti lang yung let down mo, konti lang yung mapapump mo. So, again, when you're pumping at work, because of course, again, remember, you have women's right. Even if you're working, the manager should allow you to pump every 3 hours kung gusto mo yon. At least maybe 15 to 20 minutes, they have to provide you a privacy room. Dahil yun talaga ang kailangan na ifalo natin women's right, especially if you're working. So, take that right, okay? Pag, pag pinagalitan ka na, ano na naman ginagawa mo, papam ka na naman, mag out ka na naman. No, you have the right for that. So, pag kung, kung hindi aware ang manager mo, I remind me and as you as women's right i have the right to pump i have even have the right to see my baby during my break i have workers co-workers na mga katrabaho kong nurse na during lunch break dinadala ng mga nanay nila yung babies nila para mag breastfeed at lunch time sa opisina nila okay yes so you, you have the right to demand that okay kasi you're a breastfeeding mom so again it's gonna take a while. Doon sa mga two weeks, three weeks, or maybe one month ka na malayo ka sa anak mo going back to work, sometimes you can really see this difference. Don't be surprised. Ngayon na alam mo na, but to, to maintain your milk supply is that you always have to bring your pump with you. Kung hindi mo talaga kayang bumili ng breast pump, do a manual breast expression, milk expression doon sa work, okay? Five to ten minutes, try to relax para talaga lalabas at lalabas yung letdown mo, okay? You want that letdown, kaya kailangan makinig ka ng music. Just try to relax. Imagine mo na lang na nandiyan yung baby mo. You know what's a good thing to Bring a picture of your baby habang nagpa-pump ka or habang nag-express ka ng milk mo. Imagine mo lang nandiyan sa baby. Or, this is another thing. High-tech na tayo ngayon eh. Um, you can 
uh, do uh, FaceTime para makita mo yung baby mo habang nagpapump ka, nakikita mo ngumingiti sa'yo, at least o kinakausap ka para dadami at dadami yung gatas mo habang nagpapump ka at malayo, kahit malayo yung anak mo. That's one of the best ways na tinuturo ko sa mga pasyente ko when nana is going back to work and pumping. So, if you're one of those nanas na lagi kang nawawari, tinitingnan mo lagi kung gaano kadami yung napapump mo, you're frustrated, you're feeling stressed, na hindi na kaya ng, ng supply mo, yung isusuntain mo kay baby every day, it's okay. It's okay. Every woman is different. Kaya kung napapansin mo medyo hindi na talaga kaya, talagang kulang na si baby. So if that's the case na kailangan na talagang mag-supplement mo ng formula, go for it. Kasi hindi mo naman pwedeng gugutumin si baby. Okay. Hindi mo mapipilit ang katawan mo kung hindi talaga pwedeng mag-release mag ng ganun ka naming milk. That's that that the baby needs. So if if I were you, if you want to make sure that uh, masusustain mo yung needs na baby, do really hard work on stocking up your milk while you're at home. Kung hindi kaya, then there's another option. You can supplement and it makes baby happy. Now, before you go back to work, iti-train mo talaga itong caregiver na to na hindi sa lahat ng oras iiyak si baby, bote. Okay? Hindi. They need to monitor kung ilang mga meals ang nadidede ni baby. They need to know, iti-train mo talaga, lalo na yung mga nanay nyo, mga lola na nag-alaga ng mga anak nyo. You have to train them dahil iba yung mundo nila noon sa mundo natin ngayon. Okay? Minsan, they gonna insist kung ano yung ginagawa nila noon. They gonna insist. Ikaw ang nanay. Ikaw nakakaalam sa anak mo. So, so, Teach them in a in a right way. Wag mong awayin, wag mong, uh, you know, um, hindi mo rin sila masisisi kasi doon sila pinalaki, doon sila natututo before na walang nag-correct sa kanila na tama. Okay? Kaya, kalimitan sa paligid natin, marami pa rin maling tinuturo gawa nung walang taong, walang nagko-correct sa tama. Kaya, kaya ako ginagawa itong video na to kasi marami talaga. Minsan, there were one mom na nagsabi sa akin, nagalit daw, nagalit daw sa akin yung biyanan niya. <laughs> because I mentioned in my video na, you are the baby. You know best your baby than your mother-in-law. At siguro parang na-offend siguro yung mother-in-law. Kaya nagalit sa akin. So, I hope walang nagagalit na mother-in-law sa akin. We need to, to, Kailangan natin itama yung mali, okay? Kailangan natin itama. Hindi na po pwede yung, oh, ganito yung narinig ko, ganito yung ginawa ni ganito. No, we have to do it right, okay? Para para maging healthy si baby at maging comfortable tayo. Even though you're at work, you feel comfortable because you know you're doing it right. So don't feel bad na you went back to work, miserable ang anak mo, laging iyak ng iyak, at nag nag decrease yung magsapal mo. It's okay. Accept it. We need to accept it and do something about it, okay? So, bye for now. I hope you learned something from this video. I know you learned something from this video. Please do like this video, share this video, and thank you again sa mga bago kong subscribers. I promise na hindi kayo madidisappoint sa mga videos ko, mga lessons ko ibibigay sa inyo dahil I know for a fact na bibihira lang kayong nakakita ng lactation consultant na nagbibigay sa inyo ng libreng libreng advice okay na para 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 ma so that your baby will grow healthy as well as you're gonna live a happy and happy and satisfied life especially when you go back to work thank you again for viewing today i share this video more videos to come every two to three days maraming salamat bye for now goodbye